something big just got removed from the Pacific Ocean. Do you know what it is? And how to be a better boater and travel the seas? Jeff Bezos' yacht is back in the news, and we're talking all things sunny with Maui Jim. You gotta stay tuned to Boating Broadcast. Welcome to From the Helm Boating Broadcast with Marine Max, bringing you the latest news and notes in the world of boats. Aloha and welcome to From the Helm Boating Broadcast. I am your host, Lisa Harrison. We are gonna start today's episode with the headlines. We are gonna get into it, but if you like what you see, please like, share, subscribe, follow us. We encourage you to visit us on YouTube or the Marine Max website to see what you're listening to. And of course, submit your ideas. We've got a bunch of different forms on our website. We'd love to hear from you. And also drop any notes and anything you'd like us to cover in the next episode in the comment section. All right, first up, what got removed from the Pacific Ocean? People wanna know. I gotta tell you, it's 100,000 kilograms of plastic. So for the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is also known as the Pacific Trash Vortex. It spans waters from the west coast of North America to Japan. The patch was actually comprised of the Western Garbage Patch located near Japan and the Eastern Garbage Patch located between the US states of Hawaii and California. These areas are spinning debris. They're linked together by the North Pacific Subtropic Convergence Zone, located a few hundred kilometers north of Hawaii. This convergence zone is where warm water from the South Pacific meets the cooler water from the Arctic, and the zones act like a highway that moves debris between one another. So Ocean Cleanup Project has removed a ton of plastic over the last couple years. They deployed their system, System O2, uh, in August of 2021, and have now collected over 101,000 kilo, uh, kilograms of plastic from this patch. And they are now saying that their technology has been validated. They've been trying for years to make this a, a valid thing. And they're expected to move on and expand their system to System 03, which is expected to capture plastic at a rate potentially 10 times higher than the System 02 has captured. So these guys are working tremendously hard to eliminate plastic debris in our oceans. And we gotta give them a hand. If you're looking for more information about this, um, the National Geographic Channel does a great job covering it. But this is really from our friends over at Marine Industry News. They did a great article. Uh, there are some videos that you can watch about the ocean cleanup project, and it, it is great. I mean, it's almost, um, they're projecting to uh, pull almost 2 million pounds of plastic from our ocean in the next several years. Um, in 2023, they plan on mapping other patches, so there are more patches, garbage patches floating out there. And in 2024 and beyond, they're gonna scale up and expand operations. So high five and round of applause to Ocean Project. We love in what you're doing, and thank you for Marine Industry News for covering that. All right, so not a great topic, litter in the oceans, but it happens, right? We've all been there where our hat flies off, our sunglasses fly off. You don't really intend to lose those things. So Boston Whaler has actually initiated a challenge. It is a hashtag, be a better boater challenge. And the sweepstakes is open, so you can actually win some prizes for this. What they're asking you to do is uh, snap a picture to show how you are doing your part to pull litter from our waterways. And that's pretty much it. Snap a picture, type it, type it up on um, at your favorite social media platform, hashtag be a better boater. You have a chance to win two Guy Harvey tumblers, two Guy Harvey hats, two Guy Harvey t-shirts, and a Guy Harvey signed print. So good job Guy Harvey, Boston Whaler, Marine Max for getting together and doing a great campaign to help us clean up uh, our waterways and help the ocean project out. All right, next up we're going in to traveling the seas with cruisers yachts. They have some great, beautiful new models available now. And I know Labor Day's coming up. We're all getting ready to kind of pack in our boating gear. I mean, if you live in Florida, we kind of boat all year round, but I'm from Michigan. So Labor Day was that time of year where you start looking at taking the boat out and winterizing it and getting the guys to come take the dock out. It's a very sad day. <laughs> but there's still time for you to get into a boat this year and boat on the Labor Day holiday. Marine Max recently launched the Travel the Seas promotion that will include new extended service passport for select model year 2022 cruisers yachts. And we'll link those all in today's film notes and we'll have them on the Marine Max website. Uh, we're gonna be promoting them pretty heavily on our social media channels too. So wherever you follow Marine Max, look out for the cruisers uh, Travel the Seas promotion. There's a lot more information online. We've got a beautiful boats, a 42 GLS in Lake Norman, uh, 42 
two canniest in Bayport and uh, a couple of different canniests in Marine Max Miami and Marine Max Pompano. So give those a look-see. There's still time for you to get out in a boat this Labor Day season. Time has not run out and boats are on the ground for you to have. All right, last up, Jeff Bezos, back in the news with his boat. All right, so we did some backstory on this in the previous boating broadcast, but essentially what's happening is Bezos is building a mega yacht, and in order to get the mega yacht from the shipyard to the open ocean, they were going to have to destroy a bridge. Actually, they were going to remove the bridge, move the boat, put the bridge back together. The people in the town said, heck no, let's not do that. We're going to throw eggs at your boat if you, if you do that. So what happened is Jeff Bezos moved his, his boat at 3 a.m. from one yard to another yard. What this did for him is, obviously, no eggs will be thrown at his, his beautiful new yacht. It's about a $500 million yacht, as in this article. Uh, it's, again, it's by Peter Jansen um, from Cruising Odyssey. Great follow-up story, Peter. Um, they towed this 417-foot yacht from Ocean Co. Yard, where it was being built, and it embarked on a roundabout route to another Dutch yard where it will be finished. As a result, the bridge did not have to get torn down, and everybody uh, is very happy in, in Rotterdam. Um, the problem with getting the boat to and fro is that the yacht has three masts reaching 229 feet up in the air. So g giant boat, obviously it was not gonna fit underneath a bridge. Um, so the yacht doesn't have a name yet. Um, it is called Y721, probably for yacht 721. Uh, it's reported to be the largest sailboat in the world and the largest yacht in Holland. So congratulations, Jeff Bezos, on your beautiful new yacht. Hopefully you get that finished soon and you can start enjoying the, the seas and you have no problem moving it from the Dutch yard where it sits today out to the open ocean. All right, we'll keep you updated on what's happening with Jeff Bezos' yacht because it is pretty cool. I would love to see the thing fully uh, assembled with the, those masts. It's going to be an incredible vessel. All right, guys, we are getting schooled by Maui Jim today. We're getting all things shady and sunny, and Stacy Dunn is gonna take us through how to choose the best pair for you and how to take care of your investment of your premium sunglasses. Aloha and welcome. I am here with Stacy Dunn. Aloha. Aloha, sunglass evangelist and training manager for Maui Jim. And today, we're gonna go a little in depth about what makes a premium sunglass. So welcome, Stacy. thank you so much for Thanks, joining Lisa. me. Mahalo, appreciate Mahalo. it. Oh yes, I know, I had to brush up on my, uh, my Hawaiian. Okay. A little bit, so I'm gonna sprinkle that throughout the interview. All right, so first of all, you are joining me here in Clearwater, Florida, so you're a Florida resident. Yes, I live just down the road in Treasure Island. In Florida. Which is a great vacation destination if yes, you've never is. been. Mm -hmm. uh, but where else have you been? Have you taken any vacations recently? Uh, actually, I was up in the Panhandle and I've been to Wisconsin and I've been to Canada. So between work and fun, I've been to a few places this year. That's Hit some excellent. music festivals. Oh, yeah. right up my alley. Okay, that's a whole different conversation we might not have okay. to have there. But um, I've done some traveling this year and I have realized the importance of sunglasses because I went to New Mexico mm -hmm. and did not bring a pair. And mm -hmm. it's quite sunny there. And I, I actually had some eye strain. And uh, then I went to the British Virgin Islands and I had a couple of different pairs because I learned that lesson earlier in the year. Mm -hmm. And I loved having the different, you know, sometimes they feel different on your head. You need to like, just like changing shoes. If you wear the same shoes, all day, you need to change your shoes a little right. bit. So I really kind of appreciated my, my sunglass mm -hmm. collection. Yep. Uh, but today, um, I, I lost a pair of sunglasses in oh. the British version. So I'm shopping. Okay. And I thought, what better way to help me pick out a new pair of sunglasses? Oh, now than, I know why I'm here. Uh-huh. Okay. I, I had ulterior <laughs> motives. I had ulterior <laughs> motives. Okay. So uh, what goes into making a premium pair of sunglasses? Let's start there. Okay. So um, I'm going to get take you back one step further and say, what's premium? And oh, typically in the sunglass go. industry, premium means over $100. Okay. So uh, anything that's over $100 is going to have different manufacturing, different manufacturing materials. It's basically you get what you pay for when it comes to sunglasses. Your eyes are some of the most sensitive parts of your body. Mm -hmm. They're easy to damage and difficult to repair. If you're going to invest money in anything, it should be proper sunglasses. So a premium sunglass is going to be made well. It's going to perform differently, and most importantly, it's going to offer protection for your vision. You've got to protect your eyes from sunlight. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right, so that is, we've defined the premium sunglass. Mm -hmm. 
Now, what goes into constructing some of these beautiful examples okay. we have here? First off, uh, frame materials. Uh, at Maui Gym, we use a lot of titanium. We use stainless mm -hmm. steel because it doesn't ro rust. It's anti-corrosive. We use nylon for durability. We use acetate for color, okay. something like this. We can put neat designs in a frame. So the different materials and the different amounts of labor you have to make, uh, you have to use in creating your product will all lend to price point. Additionally, where you have them manufactured affects price point. Okay, that makes sense. We have our stuff made in Italy and Japan. Okay. Uh, and artisan, craftsmen, it's very important. Because we spend a lot of time making incredible lenses, you've got to give them a great frame right. to live in. Right, and one of the things I really noticed about the Maui Gym frame is that it's really light. Yes. It's extremely light. Mm -hmm. um, part of what you're talking about, if you're not comfortable when you wear your sunglasses, you tend to take them off and then you have more problems. So, or you um, lose them. <laughs> yeah, so that's the beauty of titanium. It's lightweight, you wear them all day, you don't get that strain, mm -hmm. headache, or anything like that. So all of that we keep in mind when we design our sunglasses. Okay, so let's talk lenses now. Mm -hmm. You have beautiful colors to choose from. Mm -hmm. Do they do they play a role? Like if I'm picking out a pair of sunglasses and I know I'm gonna be at the beach playing volleyball. Right. Like how, help me navigate the color schemes here. Okay, so really it's a matter of preference, but color does play a role in how the lens performs right. as well. So if you're gonna go to the beach and play volleyball, I'm gonna put you in something like the Maui Gym Sports Series. Okay. Uh, because this is nylon, so it's very durable, it's very lightweight. Um, and adjustable nose pads, so it's gonna sit well on your face while you're oh, moving around nice. being active. Okay. So something like Maui Gym Sport. And we design oh, yeah. different types of sunglasses for our customers, because we know you play beach volleyball, you go to work, wow. you're on the boat. So that's why we have so many different styles. Yeah, and these ones specifically have readers in them. Yes, so that's another thing. Whenever you're at a Maui Gym display, you see that tag, that means that sunglass has a built-in reader. So you can see like from about right here down, you've got the reader built in, right. which is great if right. you're you know, on a boat or out at the beach reading right. your book. You can read your charts, you can tie your hooks, and you still have all your peripheral. The reading area is down low and towards the middle on yeah. purpose because they're designed for reading in a reclined position. Oh. It's a vacation sunglass. So you're sitting yes, on your, is. your deck Yes, it is. It's field tested. <laughs> she is correct. <laughs> yeah. So you read at the beach, you read on your cruise ship, uh, and those we saw a excellent. lot of those. So that style happens to come with and without readers, so that's perfect for beach, volleyball, or just Sports. cruising around, hanging yeah. out. Yep. So that's that's the, the darker lens there. Right. So if we're moving up, you wanted to go so, like across sure, or? Yeah. So really, as I mentioned, it's different preference for your favorite color, whatever different looks, but colored mirrors also affect the way a lens performs because what colored mirrors do is they reflect away their own bandwidth of color out of the light spectrum so it accentuates the opposite color. Okay. So you can really notice it in a blue mirrored lens. Blue reflects away blue, which accentuates the opposite color of blue, which is gold or yellow. So okay. that's a gray lens in that frame, but it doesn't feel gray because the blue's reflecting away blue. It feels warm. It, yeah, it, it feels, it doesn't feel like a dark gray like the other style you just tried. Correct, on. all right. So colored mirrors do a couple different things. That's interesting. But they also, what colored mirrors do is they also attract different consumers. Oh. It attracts younger consumers. You put in pink mirrors, you get more female consumers. Mm -hmm. You use blues and strong greens and reds, and then you get more male customers. But it's all just a matter of preference. Whatever you like, we have a look for you. All right, so if you drive a red vehicle and you wanna match your vehicle, boom. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> All right, so you did talk a little bit about the frame, um, mm -hmm. about the lens. Mm -hmm. Let's get into polarization. So okay. like back in the day, I remember hearing that like polarization was bad for golf and it was bad for volleyball because it messed with your depth perception. Is that true or false? Allegedly. Okay, there's a lot of myth and misinformation out there about sunglasses. Normally the companies that don't make polarized lenses have all sorts of bad things to say about polarized lenses. But there's a reason why there are so many companies making polarized lenses, because it's such a visual advantage. Yeah. It's very relaxing to your eyes to wear a polarized lens because they eliminate glare. Yes. We have enough stress and strain in our life. Let's get rid of glare. <laughs> Just relax a little bit. So especially on the surface of water, it's very important to wear a polarized lens. You take the glare off of water, mm -hmm. you can see what lies beneath. 
So um, polarization actually increases your depth perception in many situations. These are Again, nice. take the glare off of water, you can see yeah. what's underneath. Same thing with yes. golf. You can see, read the undulations of the green. It's, uh, it's, and see the grain of the grass. So everybody's got an opinion. It's whatever your preference is, right. but no. Especially for boating and fishing, polarized lenses are the only way to go. Yes, I have a pair that is, um, it's like the blue green mm -hmm. that I've actually worn in the rain. Mm -hmm. yep. Like when it's raining. Mm -hmm. So explain to me how putting on my sunglasses in the rain helps me see better. Sure, just like uh, polarization takes away glare off of ocean water, Rain falling, Rain you know, water, I mean off of the asphalt when it you know falls and puddles up. We take that glare away too. So that's what polarized lenses do: is they eliminate glare. That's and light. Glare is light that's reflected off a shiny surface like water, right. snow, ice, etc. So again, very relaxing. And Florida thunderstorms. I'll leave my sunglasses on. It's the perfect thing. <laughs> and then there's another thing too. People are fall under the myth and misinformation that you have to wear a dark lens in order to in order to protect your eyes. You don't. Okay. Lens color has nothing to do with the protection. It's just a matter of preference or your sensitivity to light. Okay. So if you think that you're going open water fishing or boating, you have to wear a gray lens, that's not a fact. That's just your preference. Right. We have a lot of people who really like our bronze lenses, which is what's underneath this red mirror. Uh, and uh, I'm wearing a bronze lens right now. There you um, go. This is our number one selling lens color for prescription because you can wear a bronze lens in all sorts of light conditions. Mm -hmm. And if you're concerned about how much money you're spending, I think that um, you're gonna get more bang for your buck. If you buy a bronze lens or a rose lens, cause you can wear it in more of yeah. the day. Whereas a gray lens, clouds might come out, you take your sunglasses off, you forget where you put them, you lose them, you never buy good sunglasses again. Yeah. So that's why lens color is so important. When you come to a Maui Gym dealer and they have a display like this, which is a beautiful display, um, you try on the different lens colors and get a feel for what makes you feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, and walk over to a window and look at natural light as yeah. well. But um, you don't need a dark lens to be protected. You, any Maui Gym lens is going to block 100% of UV. It's just what works for you, what your preference is. So they're, they're UV protective? Oh, yeah. 100% of UV. Mm -hmm. All right. What about um, blue light? So blue light is is the next door neighbor to yeah. UV on right. the light spectrum. And we also know it as glare, scatter, or haze. And it creates eye strain. Okay. So a lot of people get headaches if they wear sunglasses that don't protect them from glare, scatter, and haze. Our lenses block that bad blue light. Okay, so that you're not gonna get as many headaches and stuff like that. So a good sunglass is gonna block more than UV. It's also gonna block bad blue light but let in good blue light, which we do. Okay, all right. <laughs> so. That is very interesting. All right, so when we're, we're looking at, at all the different options, I've picked, you know, what frame, kind of frame I, I like and what kind of lens I like. Mm -hmm. What about fit? Okay. How do you, how do I, because some are tighter than others, some sure. I feel like are gonna fall off my head. Absolutely. So you wanna make sure you get the right size, but first off, let's start with lens fit. Okay. The lens should go from brow bone to cheekbone. That's how big you want the lens to be. Okay. Now, we have wider styles. We've got mm -hmm. a little bit smaller style. Um, and a full frame like this is going to be heavier than something like one of our titanium right. aviators. So pick them up, get a feel for what you feel would be comfortable for you. And again, don't try on a lot of styles to get the fit that you want. And think about the activity you're gonna wear them for also. Right. That's important. Very important. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's say I found my pair, bought my pair, I wear, I love it, I wear them too much, I scratch them. Okay. Scratches happen. We will sell you replacement lenses. Okay. Lenses are not covered under a traditional warranty. The frames and the nose pads, they're all covered under they're warranty. They're all covered, okay. But lenses will scratch if it's pavement versus lens, pavement wins every single time. Ugh. But we and other companies will sell you replacement lenses. That's no problem. So that's nice. Yeah. So you're paying for, for the frame, but you're mostly paying for the lens. The lens is the most expensive part mm -hmm. of a sunglass. Uh, there's so much labor involved to creating a really good lens. And the cool thing is when we replace lenses, you send them in to us, we're gonna replace the lenses, we're gonna go ahead and inspect the frame. Right. And if anything else needs to be replaced, we will go ahead and do that at the same time. 
So you Some often customer see service our right customer there. service, uh, people say, oh my gosh, you gave me a whole new sunglass. Actually, we didn't. We replaced the lenses and we replaced the parts that were getting worn or whatever. And that was it. And we get them back to you in three to five days. How is that even possible? We're quick at Maui Gym. We're quick. How is that even possible? Well, that's part of what you pay for when you invest in a premium sunglass. Is okay. Not only the technology, but the aftercare. And just like having a boat, you know, you need yeah. it's an ongoing uh, series of maintenance that you have to do. So we give you care and cleaning tips to help your glasses last longer. And if something goes wrong, we're going to fix it. And we even have parts that for styles we don't even make anymore. Wow. So don't throw anything away. Call us, send it in to us. We'll probably have the parts on hand for styles we've made, haven't made for 10 or 12 years. Wow. Yeah. That's some, that is some service right there. Yeah. All right. So let's let the people know where they can find a Maui Gym dealer near them. Where's the best place well, to go? First off, see if your Marine Max Center carries Maui you, Gym sunglasses. <laughs> there because you go. we have a number of Marine Max folks who do. You can also go to MauiGym.com, go to our store locator, and we'll bring up a list, uh, give us your zip code, we'll bring up a list of all the people around you that carry Maui Gyms. That might include eye doctors because we make oh. Maui Gyms in prescription as well. Really? You have to go through an eye doctor to get prescription, um, but if you don't wear prescription, even places like Marine Max will carry Maui Gyms with readers in them. That's not prescription, that's just a little magnification. But uh, go to our website, follow us on social media. There you go. Uh, because that's a great way of interacting with Maui Gym. Because there is somebody there, if you have a comment or a like or whatever, someone at Maui Gym will respond to you. Yes. So, that's what it's about. We're social, too. Yeah, that's I love it. So it's official Maui Gym on your favorite social media platform. I definitely followed them. They just recently had a giveaway uh, to win a trip to Maui. Yep. Uh, I entered that. I don't know if I can... <laughs> Fingers crossed. I'd like to go to Maui. Yeah. That would be fun. Yeah. All right. So what sunglasses do you have on? I am wearing the Coco Head. Coco um, Head. Now, when you get a Maui Gym style, when you pick it out, we always put the name of the style inside the left temple right here. So uh, this one here, for example, big seller for us. This is World Cup. So World Cup. I'll tell Cup. you right there, there's a style with the marlin coloring on it. I love this frame. Um, All right. So that there, ironically, is called Mavericks. Oh, yeah. If you can read that font, you're a lot younger than I am. I could read uh, it. It took me a minute to find, <laughs> but I did read it. <laughs> so um, all of I do our like these. modified aviator shapes. This is Cliff House, which is slightly modified. So that's a pure teardrop aviator. Cliff House is a little bit more squared off. It's not a pure teardrop. Um, so we'll always put the name of the style inside the left temple. I believe this is Southern Cross. Um, and Those a lot of nice. our styles have spring-loaded hinges. I so did. I noticed that, that, too. Happens. Yep, it's designed to do that. Um, okay. So the style you're holding up is interesting because we do something at Maui Gym that a lot of people don't do anymore. So you hold up this temple and you might be able to see that there's a wire core I do. inside the frame. I do. A lot of people don't do that anymore, but what it does is it adds strength to the frame and it makes it more adjustable. Oh. It makes it more adjustable. So. For a style like this, I would take this to an eye care professional to have them heat it up and bend it in to fit you like a glove. I have never even heard of that yep. as a thing. Mm -hmm. Yep, you can adjust your frame, and having this wire core helps the frame hold the adjustment. Can they, can they all be adjusted like that? Uh, yeah, they can. They really? With the wire cores, yeah. So uh, you take it to an eye care professional who knows what they're doing. Uh, they're going to kind of measure your head and make the adjustment so that it's not rubbing against that bone in the back of your head yep. and giving you a headache. So little things like Ow. that. Again, it's ongoing maintenance, just like anything else, that will have this product last you longer and give you pride in your investment, give you value in your investment. Right. Excellent. So I remember the first pair of Maui gyms I tried on, I actually was on a boat, forgot my sunglasses, Oops. and somebody had an extra pair of Maui gyms and they handed them to me and I put them on and I was like, these are hands down the best sunglasses I've ever had mm -hmm. on my face. It's all about the quality. It's about the aftercare. It's, you know, you're not losing them or sitting on them. And even if you do bend the frame, mm -hmm. send them in, they'll help you, they'll help you out. Absolutely. And again, we have a lot of different looks for a lot of different mm -hmm. people. Um, and for a lot of your looks. And we find that our consumers are super loyal to the brand. Yeah. Uh, once we have you, we have you for life and all the different looks you want. That's excellent. All right, so we're gonna wrap this up. Any other final thoughts? Anything you want people to know about Maui Gym? Anything coming up? Uh, polarization makes a difference. 
Uh, spare yourself of the headaches and the eye strain. Uh, Malware Gems Polarization is patented and proprietary. We own all of our own technology. Um, try on different lens colors. Mm -hmm. Don't just go to gray. Try bronze, try rose. They're great all weather lenses. It's the same amount of polarization, the same amount of protection, just letting in more usable light, not more dangerous light. Yes. Um, don't buy into the myth and misinformation. Do research on your own. A lot of it is going to a proper Maui Gym dealer mm -hmm. and trying on all the different lens colors and seeing what you want and getting the proper fit and feel that you like. Yep, and I have done that myself. I've even been even to uh, Marine Max Clearwater here, tried out a bunch of different pairs, found a frame I liked, but liked a different lens. Mm -hmm. And they looked online for me and they're like, that frame comes with that lens, let us order it for you. Mm -hmm. So if you end up liking this type of lens, but you don't like the frame, there are other options to mix and match as well, Correct. right? And yeah. online's a great place to start to look yep. and then go try them on. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, great try advice. Try them on is the best thing you could do to make sure you get the right fit and the right lens. All right, so do you have any uh, tips about, um, I don't know, what are the things that you put on your, your sunglasses so we to do, make, uh, we make make sure you don't lose them? Yeah, Because that's how I lose mine. Cables and croquis. And, croquis, that's um, what I wanted. And cables in particular, because it's like a rubber tube, we find that if you put one drop of hand sanitizer inside the tube before you try to slide it onto the oh. frame, that makes it easier to slide on. And then as it dries up, it creates like a little tighter vacuum seal. So one drop of hand sanitizer in the tube before you Good slide tip. the tube in onto your temples. It's called a temple, not an earpiece. So uh, we highly recommend cables. When you're cleaning your sunglasses, these sunglasses are sealed. You don't need a cleaner per se, just warm water and cloth. Cloth. Never use paper or no paper towels on a lens. You always want Why to use cloth. Why is that? Uh, because paper towels are made out of wood and they have like microscopic wood bits that can scratch your lens when you go to clean it. Okay. Um, especially at boat shows, I'll see guys and ladies walk up and I notice that their lenses are scratched in a perfect circle because they've taken their thumb on a paper towel oh. and they scratch them that way. Oops. Yeah, we're going to sell them replacement lenses, but I'd rather not have to do that. Um, right. So all you need, if you need a soap product on your lens, dish detergent. Just one drop of dish, de dish detergent in warm water is all you need to clean your lens with a cloth. We give you a cleaning cloth in your little case. It's a microfiber cleaning cloth. Mm -hmm. You can throw it in the washing machine, uh, let yeah. it air dry, don't put it in the dryer, but never use oh. Windex or any of those products uh, Just and soap. never use paper. Okay. How often should you be cleaning that microfiber cloth? Uh, like, <laughs> I would do that once a month. Once a month? Yeah. Okay. I should probably go through all my sunglasses and do that right now. <laughs> thank you for the reminder. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Sure. Thank you. Uh, if you want to learn more about Maui Gym, MauiGym.com, you can follow them on your favorite social media platform at Official Maui Gym. And we will always have everything typed up. We'll link a few things in our film notes on the Marine Max blog. You can find that at marinemax.com slash lifestyle slash blog. And we hope you enjoyed today's boating broadcast. As always, stay healthy and boat happy. Mahalo. Mahalo. We hope you enjoyed this episode of From the Helm Boating Broadcast. To keep up with the latest news and notes in the world of boats, be sure to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and wherever podcasts can be heard. Until next time, we'll see you out on the water.